Good morning, DNZ Hikes. We're in for a treat today. We're up really, really early today in order to go to the Haleakala National Park, yep. where we're going to see the sunrise, and then we're going to do the Sliding Sands Trail. <laughs> How excited are you on a scale from 1 to 10? I don't know if I'm ready for this, but yes. We can do it. Yeah. Let's go. finally made it here now it's time to put on some winter clothes before we go outside in Hawaii because down there it's about a like warm humid 70 degrees but here it's probably gonna be like 40 something degrees outside with the wind chill so it's gonna be really really cold exactly all right let's do it mm -hmm. We're gonna try to go to the top and see if we can get a view down into the crater where we'll be hiking later today. We're about to hike down into the crater of a volcano. That's not something I ever thought I would do, but mm -hmm. it looks pretty cool. Yeah. You excited? Mm-hmm. We're not ready for this one, but I think we can do it. We can do it. We're not doing the whole thing. The whole thing's like 12 miles. I think we're just going to do like uh, three miles or so. Go out a mile and a half, turn around and come back up a mile and a half. Okay, let's do it.
right, we're here. We're at our turnaround point. If we go much farther beyond this, the elevation's really gonna start to drop way down. And then we have to really make the decision of, do we wanna turn up and go all the way back up 3000 feet? Or do we wanna do the entire 11 mile trail in which you only have to go back up 1600 feet because it ends at a lower elevation than where you start. So uh, we're making the decision right now. If we go to the end though, we have to get a car and we have to hitchhike all the way back to where we started, <laughs> where our car is parked. And I don't know if we really want to do that today. So we're probably just going to turn around here. It's been a great trail, but uh, as you can see behind us, we have a huge uphill that we need to do at 10,000 feet in the heat. So I think turning around is probably good enough for this hike. Sure. A few moments later. Okay, we've made the decision. We're gonna regret it if we just turn around here and we don't do the whole thing. So, <laughs> what are we gonna do? To do the whole 11 miles and asking someone to pick us up. <laughs> I just hope we don't get to the end and we can't find anybody to bring us back to the beginning where our car is parked. Do the cold 911 or something? <laughs> I think we can do it. All right, we can do it. Let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> so the rest of our route is we have to walk all the way down to the bottom of this valley all the way along the side to the end there and then our climb is going to begin out of the valley out of the crater up onto that mountain i believe and up over the side and then there's a road there where we meet up with the road that we drove in on and that's where we'll be able to find somebody to pick us up and bring us back to where we parked hopefully we've got a long road ahead of us here we go <laughs> going to do a lot of appeals because I think now we are on the bottoms, right? Yep, we just reached the bottom so now it's all the way uphill. I think the good news is we're halfway through the trail distance wise but the elevation that we have to make up is only half the elevation about that we had to descend as we came down into the trail so hopefully it should be relatively easy. <laughs> yeah, we will check, check in later. Bye bye! Right, we're three and a half hours in checking in now 
All I have to say is, are we there yet? <laughs> are we there yet? Mm, not yet. Probably have, what, two hours left two to hours. go? Two hours, yeah. I hope so, two hours. Uh, good thing is there hasn't been too much uphill yet. It's been yeah. pretty flat, but mm -hmm. I think that means we've got a lot of uphill in store for us in the future. Yeah, so. and weather is pretty good. The weather is high. good, yep. Windy. We got a nice breeze, so can't complain too much. descendant uh, that's native to Maui, I believe. I believe they said there's only a thousand of these left. And here's two of them sitting in the shade under this bench.
<laughs> too tired even can I say something we're about halfway up the mountain probably two and a half miles left to go mm -hmm. until we get to the parking lot this is probably the hardest part of the entire hike because we're really tired and we have a lot of elevation yeah. we'll get there we come from there <laughs> okay chicken later a little longer than a few minutes later <laughs> took us like two or three hours to get up that mountain that was just brutal brutal savage wrecked <laughs> yikes yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, seem to be back to the hotel. So that means we finished the 11 miles hiking for today, seven hours. And we are so lucky someone like pick us up from the area. Yes, thank you, Kira, who happened to be there waiting at the hitchhiker pickup area and graciously gave us a ride back to where we parked. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah. Yeah, so do you have any recommendation if someone wants to go there next time? My recommendation would be like the first like downhill, just go as fast as you can and then just save all your energy for the last two miles because that's like straight up. Yep. It's not that hard but because today the weather is like really hot today. So yeah, I don't feel well. <laughs> I don't feel good. Yeah, I um, agree with what you said. Yeah. Bugs are not that big of a problem. Mm -hmm. The scenery is great. It's just really a long hike and the ending is really, really hard. The last two miles, like you said, so you have to be prepared for that. Bring yeah. lots of water. So the first eight miles, nine miles, you can just like how fast, as fast as you can, just go. <laughs> but it means the last two, just like take your time slow and just climb up. Yeah. Overall fun hike, right? Yeah, it's good. Pretty good. Last thing, remember to put a sunscreen on your neck. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> <laughs>